See, one type of question that they ask is this, that we call it as connecting. <coughs> connecting bulk blocks. Okay? <coughs> Two cases are possible in this. Case one, when temperature in Temperature is same in both the bulk. The question we'll discuss with the question here. We'll have an arrangement here. And there's a stop for twenty gram. H2. Volume is 10 liter and temperature is given 300 Kelvin. 160 gram O2. This is the arrangement we have. The first question is. Calculate the pressure in both bulbs. The first case, or the first one is. When the stop cork is closed, when the stop cork is open, so when it's opened, it becomes like you could just add it up. Yes. When it's open, we just add it up. You can't add individual pressures. Pressure is promoted at pressure. Volume we can add. This tube with which the two bulb is connected, this has, this tube has the individual volume. So we add volume and we add number of bulbs. The tube has negligible volume. Find out these two questions. They may leave the answer with the bar. Yes. They may leave the answer with the bar. Or better, are you take 1 by 12? No, I'm making them. It's easy, I think. It's not a doubt. It's not a doubt. Today, R value take 1 by 12. I think it will be easier. Okay, yes, okay. R value take 1 by 12. What is the pressure in uh, in both the bulbs? So it's 500 and 500. Where? Which one is 25? Huh? Exactly. Nice. S2 is 25. Okay. 500 this, 500 is 500. 500. this is A, this is B. So pressure in A is what? 25. Pressure in B. Pressure in B. So 523. 523. 523. So it's R into 0 0.01 and it's 300 by 50. No, no, take R is 1 by 12. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can put that in later. But still, the number of moles is 0 0.01. No, leave the mole as fraction. Moles is 1 by 100. 160 grams. 160 by 32. So, 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I thought it was no end. It's not 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 It's not
Done. See when the stop cork is closed, then these two gas won't mix, right? So we can find out pressure here by applying PV is equals to NRT and pressure here by applying PV is equals to NRT. And you'll get PA is equals to 25 atmospheric and PV is 8.3 atmospheric. All of you have done this, right? Just we need to apply. TV is going to NRT here separately. No, when we open the stop cork, in second case what happens? Volume to the, the two gas will mix, right? So the volume, the total volume will be the volume in A plus volume in B. Which is 25 and the total number of and number of moles also we can add. No, you're not. No, no, no. Yeah, when you calculate the pressure, it's constant. Yeah, yeah, just add the number of moles. Yeah, yeah, just add the number of moles. It's 55. But it's better if the amount will be a bite. Because it's in the same way. Yeah, so it's 15. What is 15? So the pressure in both of them will be open. What is the number of moles? The number of moles. Yeah, yeah. So 15. Yeah, fifteen moles. Yeah, fifteen moles. Number of moles of A is what? Ten. Ten by two. Ten by two, no? Yeah, ten. Twenty by two. Ten moles. And five. And number of moles of B is one sixty by thirty. Five. Five. Sixty-five. Total number of moles will be what? Any plus N B? That will be fifteen. And then we apply P B is equals to. NRT. We need to find out pressure. So pressure is equals to what? N is 15. R is 1 by 12. Temperature is 300. Divided by volume is what? 25. What do we use? 15 atmosphere. The pressure will be 15 atmosphere. So in both the bulk, we'll have the same pressure after some time, and that will be 15 atmosphere. So uh, the next thing is what? Suppose one thing. The third case I did not write here. When the, when the gases are reacting, final pressure when the gases are reacting. Oh. So do you have any oh. limiting agent now? Yes. Interesting. So Wait, then when H2 combines with O2 and it forms H2O This will be liquid. This is gas and this is gas. Water forms. What we need to find out? You have 20 moles of every two moles of hydrogen, one mole of hydrogen. What we need to find out here? Because, because, it's a verified number of moles. There is no limiting Twenty-five. Third one you do. When gases are reacting, then what happens? Oh yeah, it's liquid. So then. Oh, it's huh. just the density by what? No, 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 no. If it's liquid, then you can't do anything. If it is liquid, then the pressure will be zero. For liquid, we cannot find out the pressure. Okay. So, so if there was a limiting reagent, we have to find out how much H2O forms. I'll, I'll do that. See what happens. Generally, in this kind of questions. The gases are non-reacting gas. It will be mentioned in the question. Two non-reacting gas present and now all these questions will be. But when the gases are reacting, so we can find out the pressure of gas only. For liquid, we cannot find out the pressure. Right? So what is the number of moles of H2 here? 10 moles. And for O2, it is 5 moles. Right? 
So in this, H2NO2 reacts and form water. Water, right? So what is the what is the we'll find out first the limiting reagent into this, right? And limiting reagent is what? There is no limiting reagent in this reaction. It means this H2NO2 reacts completely and converts into water. This means further means what? That there is no there is no gaseous molecule present. All gases converts into liquid, that's why the pressure will be zero. Suppose if you take different number of moles here, this one is suppose 8 moles and this is 5 moles we have. Instead of 10 and 5, we have 8 and 5. So which one is the limiting reagent here? H2. No, H2. H2 is limiting. H2 is the limiting reagent. So we'll have some amount of H2 gas present in that uh, no, so contain. No, 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 we have H2. H2 is the limiting reagent. So we'll have some amount of O2 left. So you need to find out what is the number of moles of O2 left and then PV is equals to 100. One mole of O2. Correct? So this third one is very important. You must understand this question. When the gases are reacting, right, mostly uh, you'll get... Can mention the number of Yes, yes, they have, to, they have to give that number. Yeah. Otherwise you cannot... Point is, if the gases molecules are there, we can use PV is equals to NRT for that. Because that is only applied for gaseous systems. If liquid are there, pressure will be zero. This kind of reaction, if it is there, you need to find out the number of moles of gaseous molecules present when the reaction is over, right? In this case, there is no limiting reagent, means the reaction is complete, there is only water present in the container, so we cannot find out the pressure, in that case the pressure will be zero. Correct? This is one type of question, generally two types of question you will get. Once the temperature is same in both the container, three different questions we will discuss. Okay, this is the only three possibility we have. And we are adding what a uh, volume of these two uh, containers when the temperature is same. Second case is what? When the temperature is different. So in case two, when the temperature is different, you cannot add volume of both the container. Okay, that is the important part. So write down the case two, when temperature is different. When temperature is different. Now we'll have the, exactly the same system we have. I'll do the some changes into this. Uh, question only. Yes. Suppose here instead of 300, we'll have 400. Okay? So one very important thing here, when the temperature is different, you cannot add the volume. Like we did in the last question, 10 plus 15 becomes what? 25. So since the temperature is different, the final volume is not equals to the volume of the two container, that is VA plus VB. This we cannot do. Right? And uh, when you open the stop cork, obviously when the stop cork is closed, the question is same. This you let it be, this we are not discussing here. Right? When the question the question is actually same, when the stop cork is closed, you can find out pressure of this and this by the same way. So PA is equals to what? PA we have already done, that is 25 atmospheric. And PV will be what? 8.3. That will be 5. R is 1 by 12. 400 divided by? Volume is 15, so it will be more than 8 because the temperature is more now. And when you solve this, you will get some 11.1. Check this value 11.1 you are getting. You are getting 8 by 1. 11.1, right? Now you see when you when these two pressures are there in the two containers, when you open the stop call, obviously the gas from high pressure move towards the low pressure, high pressure to low pressure zone. Right, so when the stop cork is open, the gas flows from high pressure to, to low pressure. Now since we cannot add volume, then what we do here, and this movement of gases molecules will be there till the pressure is same, same. uniform. Correct? So what we assume, suppose n moles, I'll write down, this you have done, no? So how to find out um, uh, pressure here? when the stop cork is open, right? So we assume here that since this will have more pressure here, 25 atmospheric, and here it is 11.1. So the H2, H2 hydrogen molecules moves towards this container V, right? So what we see, what we assume here that N moles of, N moles of hydrogen moves into into container B so that container B so that the pressure is so that the pressure is uniform throughout 
is uniform or same okay these moles of hydrogen molecules moves towards a uh, container b and the pressure becomes equal so for container a or the bulb a what we can write number of moles of hydrogen is what here 10 that is because initially it is 10 10 minus, 10 minus n because n mole to the chalenge right and uh, so there be 5 oh, this is uh, yeah. yes and volume is what volume is 10 liter yeah. P A, we need to find out. So we find. Oh yeah. And uh, so basically, when you apply the uh, equation here, P A B A is equal to what we can write N A R P A. Correct. Similarly, so in the bulb B, what is the number of moles of B? The initially it was five, five plus N N. Correct. So for this, if I write down the equation, that will be P B V B. Is equals to N B R T B temperature of the bulb B, right? These two the equation you need oh, to solve. R you can make it. So what we do? We we'll just take the ratio of these two, right? We we'll take so, the ratio of these two. P A is equal to P B. R tan. No P A. Right? Why would P A be equal to P A? It has to because that's the that's what we're going on. Ha! P A is equal to P B. The yeah. pressure must be same. Yes. Oh, yeah. Pressure must be yeah, same. Exactly. Then only these many moles of hydrogen transfer so over there, so that the pressure becomes equal. So what we can say this? No, we take the ratio. To, actually, you see, we need to solve these two equations. Oh. And this P A is equal to P B. So then we take ratio P A cancel. Yes, we'll take the ratio. So when you take the ratio of these two, this P A and P A gets cancelled. P and P B. V A by V B is equal to what? R and R gets cancelled. N A T A by N B T B. Okay. So when you take the ratio of one is. Uh, This two equation. So I can just like solve one of the equation. Ah, uh -huh, you can solve this one. With the sign. But I think uh, this P A is not given. No, you do not know the P A. Yeah, but we have everything else. So P A we have, it's it's N, but N is not there. Where is this N? P A is in here. Ah, but when you when you cannot solve this equation because there are two unknowns. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, but when you do have two equations. But when you take the ratio of these two, the advantage is what is P and P A gets cancelled. One unknown is cancelled. No, sir. Instead of cancelling, let's just solve. Right. So because we have two equations and two. Achha, it's dual. When you take the ratio, what happens? B A by B B is equal to. N A T A by. N B T V. V A by V B is what? Ten by fifteen. Number of moles in A is this. What is number of moles in A? Ten minus N, right? Divided by five plus N. T A is three hundred, and this is four hundred. What is this N? You tell me. Find out N. This N you can substitute here. We'll get the number of moles and then pressure you can find. Why we cannot substitute here because N A is equal to what? 10 minus N. This N we do not know. Pressure we do not know. So there are two unknowns. What is the value of N you are getting? 50 by 17. Yeah. 50 by 17. 50 by 17. So approximately three will ask you, right? Uh, approximately N is equal to three. Now N is three. So number of moles of this is equal to what? 10 minus 37. So we have number of moles, we have volume, we have temperature. You can find out. Okay, so you must remember this: when the temperature is different, we cannot add the volume. Got it? In this type of question, you will see that this whole system is there in a thermostat. Okay. In the question, this term you must see thermostat. Thermostat we use to maintain the temperature in the two bulb, same temperature. That is what it means. Or कुछ नहीं. ठीक है? But if it is clearly mentioned that uh, the temperature is different, then you have to do this method. If it is kept in a thermostat, it means the temperature is same in both the condition. That is the only. So, when you open it, can you calculate what the temperature will become? No, that we cannot do. Maybe in physics, when you do, uh, maybe there is one formula that we can you can calculate, but chemistry is not. Right. I don't remember that formula, but but we have the net temperature we can. Okay. 
So these are the two problems which they ask and we call it as connecting bulb problems. Okay, when the two bulbs are connected to different gases, then so the how the reacting gases won't come in the generally they won't give you they they, they mention generally that gas is non-reacting. Because they if they are reacting at different temperatures, so how will they react? No, the point is if they have mentioned that the gases are reacting, according to that, the data will be given in the question. If nothing is given, it means they are non-reactive. That is general assumption. Okay.